They're all around us all the time, but how many clouds can you name? Clouds are accumulations of water droplets or even ice crystals in our atmosphere, and their overall shape is determined by wind, temperature, and altitude. So let's go over five common cloud types and what they mean. Cumulus clouds. Now these are those fluffy cotton ball clouds that you usually see in a lot of cartoons. Think of the Simpsons opening. Usually these clouds are fairly harmless, but they can grow to take us into our next cloud type. The dreaded cumulonimbus clouds. Those are our thunderstorm makers. Now these clouds have a lot of what we call vertical development, upward moving air that can mean lightning and severe weather. They are impressive to behold, but I generally give these clouds a wide berth. Cirrus clouds are much more friendly, at least when they're on their own. These are those wispy clouds that you see streaking across a gorgeous blue sky. They're made up of ice crystals high in the atmosphere. And while they're pretty harmless on their own, if you see them starting to build up, that can mean that stormy weather is on the way. Stratus clouds are pretty dull, literally. They're a solid layer of cloud that often don't have very many visible features. You can get stratus clouds at different levels of the atmosphere. Higher levels like cirrostratus or altostratus, those ones can indicate upcoming stormy weather. But low level stratus is usually your typical overcast day, maybe delivering a drizzle or a flurry. From flurry to fury, our last cloud is pyrocumulus clouds, sometimes called flamogenitus clouds. Try saying that one five times fast. These clouds start with a bang. They form from wildfires or even volcanic eruptions. And if they get big enough, they can bring their own lightning, making a bad situation worse. So next time you're trying to figure out what weather is on the way to you, start by looking up.